What's up gamers, it's me Pig, and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft Red Rock Edition tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys the power of snow form that works for all Minecraft platforms, whether with your mobile device, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. Part of snow can be really useful in many other redstone contraptions. It can be useful for nether-based farms such as blaze farms, blaze as well as nether-based all farms like magma cubes and striders. They take dual damage if they are inside of powder snow, so this is really useful and also it can be really useful to get weather skulls skulls because of strays that bug has been fixed in 1.17.10 so make sure to get as much part of snow and convert skeletons into strays before you go to the next update before you start this video make sure to do this and let's get right into the mechanics of how this farm works the mechanics of this farm is pretty simple in 1.17 part of snow can be renewable when the weather is raining so if you go to a cold biome and go ahead and place cauldrons outside and cold biome it will start snowing and as you can see layers of powder snow will get filled up in cauldrons as you can see it will fill layer by layer and in battle condition it is kind of fast as you can see it's it's pretty fast and my random text is just one and as you can see all these cauldrons are getting filled up with layers of powder snow and one of these cauldrons get filled all you gotta do is just grab a bucket and as you can see i grabbed a bucket one of these the uh, coldness will get filled up with part of snow if there's any solder block or anything interrupting then the coldness will not be able to pick up the part of snow or the layers of snow i have particles turned off i have i'm using a texture pack that's why you're not able to see the snow but this farm will only be usable when the weather is raining if you're using any other weather like thunder is okay but in a normal weather it will not work so whenever it's raining just go to a cold biome use this farm then go ahead and AFK as you can see these cauldrons got filled up. I'm just gonna right click as you can see. Yeah, I'll get powder snow. It's simple, it's it's pretty fast in bedrock condition. I don't know why, but yeah, as you can see, it's really simple. This is the easiest mechanic. And yeah, that is how you're using over here. As you can see, I'm using a uh, feet dead design, just delays to make sure that the player is able to collect all the cauldrons. Stand over here, the player all, all the player has to do is stand over here. Flick this lever to turn on the feet tape, and also I'm using a dropper clock to, as you can see, all the droppers will dispense out the buckets to the player. And also, the player should have full inventory like this. There should be no space, so only one slot will remain, so only for the bucket. So the player will only pick up one bucket, causing so they can just go ahead and right click like this, and all of the bucket of part of snow will be inside. And keep in mind, this is non stackable, so you may have to extend this downward as long as you want to the bedrock. But as you can see, this part of snow it just it's just pretty fast. You can go ahead and use this for many different contraptions for redstone as well as nether based farms. And also, with the skeleton skulls, keep in mind, with the skeleton skulls are not renewable from strays anymore for 1.17.10. They fixed it, so use this as much as you can before you go to the next update. If you would love to test this farm before you build it in your survival worlds, a world download is provided down in the description below. It is a direct link to Mediafire and also materials list is provided down in the description below for your convenience and let's get right into the tutorial. You have to build this farm inside of a cold biome so it will start snowing when it rains in the plains biome or whatever biome so when you enter a cold biome it will start snowing so make sure to build this farm inside of a cold biome so it can snow and also the area required to build this farm is a 16 by 16 area. You can also build this farm inside of a chunk if you are if you have any infrastructure make sure there is sky access there's any solid block obstructing the cauldrons then the cauldron will not pick up the snow causing powder snow not to generate so make sure there are no solid blocks on top of the cauldrons once you have marked the 16 by 16 area go to the corner and count three blocks it'll be block number one two three once you have count three blocks go to the left side and start placing 10 cauldrons so one two three once you place 10 cauldrons skip a block and place 11 cauldrons one two once you place 11 cauldrons go to the left side and place 10 cauldrons one two once you place 10 cauldrons skip place 10 cauldrons again one two once done it should look something like this make sure that you have placed the cauldrons exactly how i did once you're done placing the cauldrons go ahead and grab your obsidian and place obsidian like this one obsidian over here one obsidian over here one obsidian over here and one obsidian over here these obsidians will prevent the cauldrons from extending further so make sure that you place the obsidian correctly as I did. Once you are done placing the obsidian correctly, go ahead and grab your pistons. Place a piston like this. Make sure the piston head is facing this direction. Place a piston over here. The same. Make sure the piston head is facing this 
direction piston head over here make sure the piston is facing this direction and also last but not least a piston facing this direction make sure all the pistons are placed correctly as well once you're done placing the pistons and obsidian correctly now we need to create the redstone clock go ahead and grab your solid blocks place a temporary block here solid block solid block solid block temporary block and a solid block go ahead and break the temporary blocks and you should have something like this go ahead and grab your redstone torch place a redstone torch here a repeater place a repeater here facing that block go ahead and make sure it's on three ticks go ahead and grab your redstone dust place a redstone dust here and that will constantly start to click go ahead and grab your lever place the lever here click it on and that will turn off the redstone clock go ahead and grab your redstone dust place a redstone dust over here once you have reached the piston go ahead and place a solid block go ahead and grab your repeater Place a repeater here and a repeater here. Make sure these two repeaters are on three ticks. Once you're on three ticks, go ahead and place a solid block. Grab your redstone dust and connect this to the same piston like this. Solid block, repeater on three ticks. And go ahead and do this all the way around till you reach the end. Once done, it should look something like this. Make sure all the repeater drivers are done correctly. Now make your way to the center and count three blocks. This will be block number one, two, three. Now make sure that you're staying in the third block, the first block, and break mine this block. Go ahead and grab your dropper, place a dropper here, make sure the dropper is facing this direction. Place a dropper like this, and another dropper like this. Grab a now crouch place a dropper facing at this direction. Make sure the dropper is facing at this direction. Place two temporary blocks here. Like the middle temporary block, grab a stair, place a stair like this. Make sure the stair is facing at this direction. So the buckets can blow down and you can collect them. Go ahead and break this temporary block. Place a solid block on top of the stair so no phantoms swarm when you decide to AFK. Once done, put a minus block, grab a hopper, place a dropper place the hopper facing into that dropper and once done you need to create a clock for the buckets dispenser system for the clock all you have to do is mine these blocks one two three four five six once done go ahead and grab a comparator place a comparator like this click the comparator so it turns on place a redstone block place a solid block here followed by a redstone dust solid block here a repeater facing in this direction and a redstone dust here once done go ahead and grab your lever place the lever here Click it on and that will stop constantly click as you can see you can hear by the sound that is the clock and go ahead and flick it on flick it off so that will turn off go ahead and grab your observer place the observer here solid block redstone dust go ahead and place a solid block here redstone dust that will connect go ahead and place a solid block here and that will power all of these droppers go ahead and throw in one item just for testing so i'm gonna just throw a cauldron inside flick it on and as you can see I will just constantly go up, down, and make its way to the top dropper. And as you can see, it will just constantly go on and on and on until all the buckets that you put inside will just finish. Once you're done building the bucket dropper system, all you gotta do is create the storage. Now keep in mind, the storage will get full. So if you want to extend it downwards to the bedrock, you can go ahead. The storage is completely up to you. All you gotta do is go ahead and place two double chests here, followed by hoppers connecting into each other like this. And that is your storage done. Now using this farm is pretty simple. All you have to do is make sure it's snowing and all of the columns will get filled up with powder snow. Go ahead and flick this lever that will constantly push the cauldron so you can go ahead and just constantly right click. Once done, go ahead and make sure that your whole inventory is filled with something and only one slot is free so the buckets can only be in the first slot. And go ahead and flick this lever and that will constantly flick as you can see, I have filled all of these coppers with buckets. I'm gonna collect all these buckets and as you can see, I'm just gonna right click and all of the part of snow will get thrown out because there is no inventory space causing the items to go into the hopper and directly into this chest. As you can see, it's just gonna get filled up and the, all of these cauldrons are gonna get emptied because I am collecting and I'm gonna get refilled by even more buckets because of the bucket dropper clock and as you can see, I can just go ahead and right click here constantly making this farm AFK and once the weather becomes clear then you just have to wait for the rain causing the cold biome to come snow so yeah make sure to use this farm as much as possible because this is a kind of random because of how the weather system works but keep in mind hoping to this minecraft bedrock edition tutorial will be really helpful for whatever use you have of part of snow whether it's mlg or whether it's creating nether base farms or whatever use you have make sure to leave a like and also make sure to share this farm to other minecraft players and that will really mean a lot to me make sure to check out my channel because there's a lot of minecraft bedrock edition tutorial and more 1.17 farm coming and i'll be seeing you guys in the next tutorial adios